This is a Kettler Golf P exercise bike, a bright bike, and it's got an error message E3, and also you sometimes see error message E2. So just looking inside, I've taken the cover off. We can see the flywheel here. This is the generator. This is what generates the DC. So when the flywheel turns, you can test with your meter here on the red and the black uh, to see whether you've got voltage. Uh, then it's going into a uh, control box here. We've got a little servo motor here. This is connected to the C magnet, which the little servo motor winds the magnet in and out against the flywheel. And that's what generates the resistance. And then over here we've got a battery pack and uh, the console up at the top. So with an E2 or E3 error message, usually what you find is that uh, as long as the system powers up okay, obviously if it will do if you've got an error message, uh, then you know the generator is okay. Quite often you'll find that the servo motor here is stuck and the servo motor gets stuck particularly if the machine's not been used for a while or if it goes out of calibration there's a little um, potentiometer around the back here that's what these wires are for um, there's some connectors around the back of this so you can obviously change this <coughs> this unit as a complete device or if you're feeling lucky you can undo the screws here and take off this little white um, control wheel here that pulls off remove this arm on the two screws so you get better access and then you can pull the whole front of that arrangement off which basically frees the motor from the gear mechanism and then you can power the machine up and check that the little DC servo motor is turning and it should do because it's completely unloaded then and if it is just that the mechanism's got stuck what you'll find is that when you reassemble it uh, you can um, uh, just to make just the just doing that will free the mechanism and the whole system works again and because it's on a, a potentiometer you don't need to worry too much about the position of the gear because when you reassemble it the whole device and mechanism will adjust itself to find it's it's gone a zero position again um, so that's quite a useful little uh, little tip but there you are that's inside a Kettler uh, Golf P upright exercise bike